Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Oh, this is, I haven't seen a reading like this in a while here, Sagittarius. This is someone who wants commitment. King of Pentacles in their stance. You may have ended things with someone. Um, there was a little shake up here. Some of you know this person, King of Pentacles. Some of you could be attracting this energy here in the future as well. Someone who will only have eyes for you. They want you. Let's clarify. Clarify the King of Pentacles. This is a businessman, businesswoman. They have money on their mind. They're quite stable. They have their finances together. Why is King of Pentacles here for this person's stance? Your, your spread is actually telling a story. This person's coming through quite consistent. Sometimes uh, we can see someone who has, you know, feelings for you. They're doing one thing, they're thinking another. But this person's quite consistent in how they're thinking and feeling here is what I'm getting. Why is King of Pentacles here for the person? Did you see that? This is, you're attracting someone very mature on your level. They're coming, wow. We have King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. You have options here, Sagittarius, and you're attracting kings. But there's someone specific that the cards are picking up on who wants commitment with you. This may be an unexpected energy. Let's clarify the tower. Wow. Why is the tower here for the person on... Sagittarius mind. King of Cups wanting to peek through again. Scorpio energy. Why is the tower here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups. Some of you that know this person, this situation may have fell apart because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. One of you may have felt that you were putting in all the work. You were carrying the situation forward. But this person, if there's been an ending, they want you back. They want reconciliation here. I say this situation may have, you may have brought this situation to an end because the, the image here with the girl, right? She has a smirk on her face. So it's almost she's done this, whatever happened here. I want one more on the tower. Why is tower here? Scorpio energy wanting to come through back to back. Yeah, in the past, something here ended for this person, whether with you or someone else because uh, someone wasn't putting in the effort. So if it's a newer energy, obviously it has something to do with their past. So they may be healing and they will communicate this with you, with the Ace of Swords, if you don't know who I'm talking about. But a lot of you, this fallout was with you and you chose to sort of divert your attention away. You're keeping your options open, your stance, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. For one, you're embodying the positive traits of your sign. You're coming through as quite confident. Um, it's You're attracting king energies towards you. You have your options, really. It's up to you. What do you want, right? I don't think I need clarity on your energy. It's beautiful. It's empowered. And you know your worth here. And you won't settle for second best. Have your crown on and you're pushing forward. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll get one for Seven of Cups. I don't think I really need it, but... Clarify Seven of Cups for Sagittarius stance. Yeah, you're dating. This is this is telling me that... Whoa. Yeah, you're moving full force ahead with Chariot Tower, Three of Cups. You're dating. You're getting to know people. At least you're open to new possibilities here. But regardless of what your situation is, Sagittarius, there's someone who wants you and they want stability, commitment with you. Because in this person's feelings, we have Hermit in reverse, Ten of Pentacles upright. This person wants to come back around to you. They don't want to be independent, single. 
And they want a home, a family stability with you. They want commitment with you. And some of you even marriage. This person doesn't want this breakup separation. Why is Hermit in reverse here? Yeah, they, they're still stuck on you. They've been waiting for this. They're, they're still waiting on you. They, they want to fight for this situation. It's very stubborn energy. Look at them. Four of Pentacles. This person's not exploring their options. They want you. They've decided. It's you. You have a decision to make. And a lot of you, I don't know what's going on here. Some of you broke up with someone. You don't want them back. They want you. It's unrequited. We'll get clarity with the oracles as well. But this is telling one story here. Um... I'll mention the issue I see for how this person is acting. They're sort of acting opposite of what they want from you. For their intentions, we have Six of Pentacles and Eight of Cups in reverse. They want to give to this. They want to invest in you. Some of you broke up with this person because you felt they were scattering their energy because she is giving to more than one. That's not for everyone. That's for maybe one or two of you because I don't see that as a strong storyline because I'm seeing someone who's very fixated on you. It's almost low-key obsession here, Sagittarius. If I were to be honest, because Eight of Cups in Reverse, Hermit in Reverse, right? Four of Pentacles, they're holding on to you and they're having a hard time emotionally releasing this. There's a strong possibility this person may make a return here. They may send you that message with the Knight of Swords. For how they're acting towards you, we have Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands in Reverse. They're not initiating, um, they're acting single that they don't need anyone, but it's a lie. It's a front. This is a lie. They're actually very dependent on you emotionally. Yeah, they're not communicating with you out of stubbornness, really. But they want you. This is a lie. That's all I have to say about that. They won't be able to hold back for too long right now. It seems they are. How you're feeling? We have Knight of Cups, Sun in Reverse. Sun in Reverse can be when we're unhappy single. We don't want to be single. There's some unhappiness or dissatisfaction here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for how Sagittarius will feel. Clarify Knight of Cups. Strength. I mean, some of you may have emotion for this person but you're also holding back. We do have King of Cups, Knight of Cups in your energy. Some of you are in isolation mode. You're sort of working on yourself, but you're, you're holding back here in your energy. Clarify Sun in reverse. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're working hard here. Ten of Wands. You're almost there. It's saying keep moving forward. Although you may not see. It's almost not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're almost there, it's saying in the cards. I don't know. That can be a separate message. Perhaps something to do with a school or finances. But in terms of whatever you're dealing with, whoever's on your mind, new or past, you're gathering information. You're curious here with the Page of Swords. Sun in reverse can be, I don't have the clarity to move forward, right? And that is what you're seeking here with the Page of Swords. Some of you just getting to know different people, right? With the Knight of Cups. It's usually a small offer of love, just flirting, something lighthearted here. This person is coming through as the King of Pentacles upright. They seem very promising. Can be someone who's a tad bit stubborn, but... They, they are coming through as honest and someone who does want you. Um, they want commitment with you. And rarely do we get that in readings. 
So I'm getting it's really up to you here, Sagittarius, moving forward, because you get a lot of attention from others. So you'll have a decision to make with Two of Wands of whether you want to invest in this a past person, because Hermit in reverse is when we're wanting to make a return, right? For your outcome, we have Three of Wands in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles upright. There's pessimism here in your outcome. We had the sun in reverse in your feelings. You, you feel you don't share a similar vision to this person. Or you're just lo losing hope here. Right? Five of Pentacles. Clarify Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius outcome. You may choose to end this situation or keep it where it is right now. Justice, yeah, because you feel this person isn't open to compromise. They're very set in their ways. Or you felt think something about this situation is, you know, you felt it was unfair. So you may choose to ghost this person um, if they don't get it together here. This seems to be in regards to this King of Pentacles. Clarify three of wands in her for Sagittarius outcome. It seems the rest of the spread and this person's energy seems very promising, but almost as if you don't want them. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, you may choose to ignore this opportunity. Two of Swords, because you feel you're not. There's no coming together here, and it's you're making that decision because they'll wanting, they're wanting to communicate in their outcome, and some of you will block them out with the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's almost turning someone down here. So this person will be sort of, they, they don't know what to do, right? They'll be trying to reach out, communicate, but if they don't get the response they want, they don't really know. Clarify Two of Pentacles. So things, things in this person's outcome are sort of up in the air. Nine of Wands this is a very persistent energy, Sagittarius. It seems as if they don't want to give up on you. Let me get one more for the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> They're still wanting to give to this Page of Pentacles. Some of them may try to friend zone you just to keep you in their life. They don't. They're not investing in other energies. If they were in the past, they're not any longer. Seven of Cups in reverse. Very few of you make sure this person doesn't come back towards you out of lack of options. I don't see that. I mean, they're the King of Pentacles, right? But it is a possibility. You listen to your intuition with that one. That's for very few of you. Let's get you some Oracle cards. Ooh. It's a different reading for me. Look at that incoming call. This person wants to call you. We do have wife here. This person's feelings was ten of pentacles. So maybe they want to make you their wife, their husband. I don't see third party here. I mean, in their f intentions, we had six of pentacles. It is a general reading, Sagittarius, for some of you it can be. But it's you that they want, if that is the case. Ten of Pentacles. They're addicted to you. Wasn't I saying low-key obsession? Some of them are shocked that you pulled back your energy and that you walked away. They're having a hard time coming to terms with this tower moment between the both of you. Get you one more oh that's really wanting to come through reminders yeah they're constantly reminded of you and they will reach their boiling point here they may send you a unexpected message knight of swords this person has a lot of they're ready to burst here with the tower they have something to say they can't hold back any longer 
They can't get you off their mind, addicted and reminders. They think about you constantly. They're very possessive over you. I keep seeing travel, reference to travel. Some of you there was distance. Or there will be. <laughs> Look at that, 26 playing the field. That's you. You're playing the field here. Seven of cups, three of cups. And this person is secretly yearning for you. Trust will be rebuilt. heartbreak see this can go in two ways trust will be rebuilt and that some of you may have lost faith in love um, due to some past experience right um, heartbreak and they're saying your trust in love will be rebuilt and others of you it can be with this person a second chance right after a period of separation Wow, we got that twice. We have incoming call and we have they will call three. But look at that. That's a message from two different oracle cards. Incoming call and they will call. So if you've been waiting on this person, I don't see you waiting for anyone, but that is a message. Yeah, no second chances. They will call and you're turning this down. I saw that here as well with how the cards are laid out, right? The knight's charging forward with the sword and in Ace of Swords, it's pointing down. So there's rejection here. But this person won't give up on you easily if that's the case. Very persistent, stubborn person. I want one more for you. Secret admirer. You have someone obsessed with you. And some of you, you were tired of this person, right? Where there's potential but needs work, false promises. They were telling you they're ready to make a change, right? They'll do things differently. You know, sort of you're stuck in a cycle and you're saying no now moving forward. You're fed up and you want to keep your options open. That is coming through here. You have. I'm getting secret admirer. This person is your secret admirer because they really, really want you. I have no doubt about that. But also, um, there's other people because you see this. It's almost the Queen of Wands, right? That same red dress here, and all these people cheering. So that's you. You have no lack here, which is interesting that you have Five of Pentacles in your outcome. This can sort of self-sabotage or negative self-talk here in your outcome because it's not the truth. You're the queen of wands. Perspective, interesting. What does a hawk see when it flies over your house? Besides the family of mice living nearby that you don't know about, what will your current problems, conflicts, complaints look like when you're 80 years old and you gaze back on the timeline of your life? In this moment, you are being the In this moment, you are being given the gift of clear perspective, of knowing that in the end everything is going to be probably much better than okay. Think large enough, and even big issues become small. Become an 80-year-old hawk, and you're really on to something. The gift of perspective. So they're saying, will this situation, um, this argument, whatever happened, matter, right? A year from now, five years from now. Seeing things from a higher perspective is not difficult for a Sagittarius, right? You can look at the bigger picture, and that is what it's telling you to do.
isn't this crazy? This is, <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me show you this. They will call, answer the call, incoming call. Your guide's advice to you is answer the call. When they call, answer the call. Don't let pride keep your love broken. When your heart wants to fix it, they might be worth a second chance. Your guides, I've never, rarely do our guides say give someone a second chance so clearly. This, Always listen to your intuition, Sagittarius. You know your situation better. If you were in something toxic, a third party, perhaps this message isn't, isn't for you. But in this case, if this is resonating, they're saying answer the call. Because strength in your feelings can also be pride. And it's saying don't let pride keep your love broken when your heart wants to fix it. Knight of Cups. Because you're also feeling unhappy perhaps after the separation. That's for some of you. You're curious. Some of you do want to know what this person has to say. But your ego's getting in the way with strength. So your guides are saying don't. Don't let your pride keep you away from this situation, this person, when you want to be with them. But yes, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.